Rob from Higher Power H2O. I want to show you guys an interesting anomaly here. Um, turn my cell back on. I've really been thinking about emissions lately and uh, this hydroxy boosting. And I'm seeing a lot of positive results. Um, air fuel ratio is determined, you know, say 14.7 to 1. Basically means 14.7 pounds of atmosphere to one pound of fuel. Um, and 14.7 pounds, uh, a pound of atmosphere at, at, at sea level. And I don't remember barometric pressure, so yeah, forgive me. But it's about 387 cubic feet. So you roughly use. 54, 5600 cubic feet of air per gallon or per pound of fuel. And that's what's required to oxidize sufficiently for uh, what the Department of Transportation or Federal Emissions uh, requires for a clean, the best overall clean burn. Um, leaner uh, generally reduces uh, CO, hydrocarbons, and carbon dioxide but generally increases parts of nitrogen because of uh, uh, peak combustion chambers generally higher with super lean ratios. So it's kind of an average what they think. And now with this hydroxy, I'm not gaining any EGTs. In fact, on crews, it'll generally drop them. Uh, it varies depending on uh, your barometric pressure, your sea level and density of the air, but it'll stay the same or drop them up to 200 degrees. Um, at wide open throttle, uh, in most EFI cars, they drop any feedback and look, uh, they rely on RPM versus lookup tables. Well, this Suburban, from all the testing I've done with wideband, I know that the thing at wide open throttle sits at 12.8 to 1 fairly steadily. It'll only move up and down a, a tenth or two or three uh, points AFR, but it'll be anywhere from 12.6 to 13.0. Well, with this 10 liters a minute, I go wide open throttle and I'm seeing high 13s and no detonation. Um, they run a rich mixture because the engine at wide open throttle has the highest volumetric efficiency, so it means it's, it's bringing in the most air and it needs a little more fuel to keep detonation under control. And it acts as a cooling effect running a little rich on peak combustion chamber temperatures. <clears throat> so what I want to show you here, I'm going to go wide open throttle. I'm on uh, I-5 headed south back to LA. And I've got the tack in the picture. And you should be able to hear the switch, but I'm going to also say on and off with the cells. Uh, 10 liters a minute. I'm running like 140 amps or something crazy. but. I'll do a, a volume test when I get back to LA. Um, but the point is, when I shut the cell off, my air fuel ratio goes rich. Wide open throttle, 13.9, off, see that drop, on, goes back up, off, goes back down, on, goes back up, off. Make your own judgment call, folks. But anyways, here we go. I'm going to go wide open throttle so you can watch the tag. Um, I'm going to put a voltmeter on my TPS uh, digital display and do this another test so that you guys can see I'm never changing my throttle position. Um, but here we go. I'm going to jump in the passing lane and do this. Wide open throttle, 13.9. Sell off, 13.1. Sell on, 13.9. Sell off, 13.1. Sell on, 13.9. Okay, that doesn't seem significant to most of you people, but I'm going to tell you right now. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 on the air fuel ratio, that is effectively oxidizing a minimum of 200 to 300 cubic feet of atmosphere, which means lower emissions across the board. 
this coming up week, this video, this is Saturday. It's about seven, 8 in the morning, 9 in the morning. Uh, hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to go run emissions testing in California, in L.A. And I'm going to do a test without HHO. Then uh, turn the HHO on. Go run it around 10 miles, come back, test with HHO. I'm going to step it up even further. I'm going to look for the lowest emissions vehicle possible. I'm thinking it's a Yaris, but I may be wrong. But when they do emissions testing and they use these sniffer tests, the acceptable amount of particulates, hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide is dependent upon engine size. Okay? And I'm going to compare this thing to a very low emissions car and see how it compares. Um, I'm really hoping that it passes better. So I'm hoping that a 5.7 cubic inch V8 with 175,000 miles will beat 2008 standards for a 1.5 liter Toyota Yaris. So we'll see. Well, let's hit this one more time. So, wide open throttle. Sell on, 13.9. Sell off, 13. 